So, there we go. I was, think, I was thinking about something else too while I was up. How to handle the section after. Man, I think I should be okay. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. So, the good news is with the way I'm doing this, I have the characters I need to try to live up to my tactician party as best as I can. But I'll still have the characters I need if I need to switch them around. Alright. Now, I'm not gonna go to the ca This is Lo Yen Castle. I'm not gonna actually go to the castle, but I do need to fight the, uh, the gates before I do the part that I need to do here. So... Really you. you can do this to me. Yeah, well. I think I should be okay just to all out him. Probably the first boss battle in quotes that you can fight and actually all out them and not really worry too much. But this is the battle I need to do because I need to get you wrong here. Really? As crappy as Jurong is as a character. But Jurong's got 314 soldiers plus their tactician. Like I said, they're just You might be wondering why I don't want to torture myself with that character. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna live up to my my rule as best I can. Putting Zhurong in the party. Alright, now that I actually fought him, I'm back this way. And hopefully, I run into Lee Ru along the way too. If I run into Lee Ru, that would be best. Because then I'll actually have a, a good strategist that I can leave and leave as my strategist. And I'll be able to use Ho Hoon battle just as he is. And then I'll be able to get Zhurong and Zhurong will replace um Zhurong will give me enough to uh, pull Zhang Fei out of the party. He's basically gonna he's basically just fluff, but Let's see how lucky I get now. Of course I run into Fussy Young. Uh, nice thing is too because the fortress is close by, if I get beat up too bad I can just go and heal. Which I probably will have to do after a couple of laps. Unfortunately, because this is so RNG-based, like, there's no way to, like, force a particular general to show up. Really? Poor Ziyang, are you hiding in this cave in shame? If I don't get him after a few laps in a cave, I'll go back outside and kind of, like, circle around the, uh, the field right there by the gate. When you want to recruit a general, sometimes it's just not fun. It's a lot of waiting.
I don't want you, Hu Zhen. Go away. If I kill you, Hu Zhen. Stop following me, sir. I hope you rested well. I mean, I was sleeping on a straw mat on the on the hard mountain ground. I mean. I guess I slept okay. I have never been full HP, it's a little bit better. Come on, Liru, you're the hardest one to find. You're the one that always makes me lose my mind. And I need you wrong, even though I never wanted them. Before, but now I need you wrong. Please don't take too long. Oh lord, I definitely don't want to fight these guys. Holy crap, get away from me. Get away! At least the cave music's really cool. I'm glad this isn't a speedrun. That'd be hilarious right now. Guys, like the bot says, don't forget to go check out my Steam reviews and thumbs up on uh, my Steam reviews for me. Go read them. There's a lot of the promos and I've done, but there's a few of them there that I've, you know, that were just games that I've played. It helps out. Let's one lets a developer that I did the game for know that you read it, and two, it helps me out. Is somebody different? And now we're gonna get hounded by Fenchu. I'm glad Lulu's not a wandering general. Could you imagine that? Just walk around and be like, just randomly run into Lulu and just get decimated. I used up all that food, great. I'm gonna have to buy food now. This is the one thing I was worried about. I was gonna be walking around and just run out of food. There's Lee Roo. Well, we're gonna do it. Let's go. Oh, 
I hope you give me what I want. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use Ho-Ho to use Cheese in because he actually does it. About as... the best as anybody can do. I need to heal. does kind of like hurt, but it just means I have to hit him a couple extra times. Alright, wish me luck, guys. He asked for the money. Oh well. That's half of the money I had. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's put Lee Rue as tactician. I has the heal, so... I have to heal and I have to go back and buy food. Plan A and a plan B here, guys, so plan A was to get Zhu Rong and Li Ru and then fight the battle. Plan B was to buy a bunch of food and then fight the battle and then try to get Zhu Rong after. So Unfortunately I'm gonna have to do it that way. First time of forever in this game I've actually had to buy food. This will get this will give me enough to get to the next section of the game that I need to go to. Alright. I'm gonna have to fight it like this. I did I didn't want to do it this way, but I don't have a choice now. If I happen to run into Zhu Long along the way, I'll grab him, but I gotta go straight to the battle now. The food I have is not gonna last long. What the hell? Hold on, guys. <laughs> I have to check the weather real quick.
the hell? Uh... Alright guys, I'm gonna do a tornado warning. <laughs> Over here. Or tornado watch anyway, but yeah. I was wondering what the noise was that I was hearing. The wind is just like going absolutely ballistic outside right now. I just looked up, we have a severe thunderstorm warning at Tornado Watch. Wind's gusting like at 40 some miles an hour right now, so... What I was hearing was everything slapping up against the side of the building. So I apologize if the video suddenly cuts off, or if, the, if my VOD suddenly cuts off. I apologize. If I know I need to get up and leave. Um, I will. I'll end the stream right away. Power down, but... Uh, th this time of year is normal for me. Well, not normal, but it's not uncommon. I'll put it that way. But I just wasn't expecting. I, d I didn't see the weather report said we were having any problems. And like, oh yeah, by the way, we're having the high wind warning right now. And a storm warning and everything else, so... Alright. How much food do I have? Damn, I bought all that food and... Yeah. We're just gonna have, we're just gonna have to go to Lo Yang and deal with this battle. I can't not... I can't afford to not do it. I have to get the food from fighting that battle. I might have to do the next couple of battles and try to find you wrong after. Which actually... Oh, do I have seven characters? I don't. Uh, if, I, if I can get Kai Yong... Uh, I got, dang, I, gotta, I have to have a seventh character. I should, oh, crap! Uh, Death Squad. Of course, you're wrong with being a Death Squad. I just thought about that. I don't have a spare character. Well, I can pick up one here, that's right. I can pick up a... I can pick up Wang Gui here. Wang... 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 Gui or whatever. How do they have a different... I, I... I just call him one guy. But... Alright, here we go. Yeah. Dong's bow actually isn't that strong, but he carries a much stronger weapon, which makes him hit as, as just as hard as Lu Bu does. Which is the only reason why this battle is kind of up on you, but if you force Lu Bu down like I'm doing, he's usually manageable. focused on him, I'd rather get rid of him. And I wouldn't all out Dong as well just because of the fact he can critical you for over a hundred, so... And just take your time and whittle him down. The whole hoofing, flinging fireballs here is the most fun that you can have. And I'll spit my power on you! 
especially if it gets lucky and gets an 80. Has a, it has an end too, so I'll be able to heal. Yeah, it has an end too, so I'll be able to heal. He's like, how did you win? Impossible. You're a brute force. Yeah, but I'm fireballs. Yeah, punk. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is grab the sword, the jump sword. Going back to Wu Feng's possession because he's a little bit faster. Okay, well, you won. I know you're here. Wait, is he not here? What? Oh, that's right, too, because I, I, did, I didn't get young. I didn't get young, Jim. Looks like I'm going back to getting young G. <laughs> I wish the wrong magically shows up on my way back. <laughs> I forgot. You gotta get young G first. Oh, why do I have to see you, bums? I don't want to fight you and your cousin. Go away. I need you just so Lubu doesn't end up in my party in this fight. The nice thing about the, the next castle I'm going to is one, you get Lubu, two, you unlock Kai Yang, which you, I absolutely need to get him. And three, um, you get your first club. You get two free clubs in the game, and that's where one of them are. So, one of them is. I still have more, one of them is. And I'm gonna probably need some more food pretty soon too, so. Here it becomes a going point, which is really nice. I don't need you yet, Kayon. Come back. Oh god. Come back in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Okay, so I got Young Jin now. And now, uh, Wong's gonna be here, see? He's not gonna show up in the party, see? That's why I needed somebody here, so... He instantly goes into the reserves. Alright. Let's do it. Oh god, this... Is... Well, at least I have leave room. Why? 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 <laughs> By the way, if anybody wonders what that clip from earlier was, that was me stopping because of a thunderstorm outside in the wind. So. I'll probably put that section out. And if I didn't, well. And this is gonna sound incredibly weird on the video later. Alright. Okay, 
Actually, I'm going to use that just because Kion. Hey, Chain. Oh, what? I got my first shot. Sometimes that could take like five or six tries, so... Alright, now I can beat the car out of Kayong in peace. I'm gonna do it. Let's end this. Of course he heals who's <laughs> That's funny. And I like because you use the gem sword here, it doesn't say you defeated Lubu, you defeated Kai Yang. I always found that little tidbit to be quite fun. Alright, now we have Yi Huo, so now we have Big Fireball. Now we have Big Honkin' Fireball. Alright, give me Club. Alright, cool. He has Club. He has Club, we can go Club in now. Yeah, and I need to buy at least one of these. Oh shit, I need... Yeah, I need at least one for right now. I'm gonna go into the cave. So we're gonna go into the cave, we're gonna pick up the other club, we're gonna go fight the first gate. And then hopefully we'll pick up Kayong on, on the way. If we do pick up Kayong, I'll go in back and reorder the party. This is Destiny of an Emperor Chain. This is one of my favorite retro games. Like, I, I played this on NES when it came out, and this is one of the few games I have 10,000 hours on. Or more. Who's then? I don't want you. No way. No, of course he's gonna. What I'm doing is I'm trying to set up a party of using intelligence-based characters. Right now, it's, I'm still mostly strength-based, because the early part of the game is really hard to set it up. I have to pick up, like, a couple of different characters that I don't quite have access to yet. There's club number two, so... Just to make the next section easier. If it forces me to take Lubu later, I'm going to feel so disappointed. So, ha the advantage right now is we have the two clubs. I had a frame drop there for a second. We have the two clubs, so we're going to do a lot more damage. So if we do run into Kaiyong and, and Zhu Rong, we'll be able to beat them that much faster. I'm gonna go take out the gate. Just one. I need the food too, so. A 
literally have Yang Jin in the party as a freaking placeholder right now. That's hilarious. Bye, game. Bye, game. Why? Why must you do this thing? Of course, if there's a strip of land too, you have to be you have to be really careful because if you step in the wrong spot, you can actually fight characters from the next section of the game. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you could end up dying very quickly. Are you kidding me, game? I was trying to keep the game going a little bit faster by trying to drink with one hand, and it didn't work too well. That still took almost as long as me putting the controller down. No, you can run it, just sometimes you get stuck where you, the, uh, the RNG just won't let you. These two hopeless characters. Eat my big tasty fireballs. It's funny, that character Don Min is the only time you run into him. He's like supposed to be a family member of Dong's woe, but this is literally the only time he shows up. He's a crap character anyway, so it's not like it matters, but I always find it funny that there's like a couple of characters in the game that are like that that only show up in, in one battle and then you never see them again. It's like he dies right there. You're wrong. Okay. Please let me recruit you. And oh, who don't miss with your fireball? Come on, 3D. Come on, 3D. No, you're wrong, I will. But at least give me Kayong. Come on. 
the stand thing. Only. <laughs> this game's trolling me so hard. Why? Bro, I'm getting trolled right now, man. I'm legitimately getting trolled. to run into the people I want to run into, and I can't run into them. I have enough money to hire another one, too. That's the sad part. Come on, game. Why? Nobody cares about you, Lisa. Game, at least give me Kaiyong if I can give me Zhirong again. At least let me have the good one. Yes. Thank you. Thank you again. Like I said, the problem here is, alright, Bofu is not strong. Neither is Jurong. <laughs> Jurong's actually horrible, but, like I said, I'm gonna be proper, and I'm gonna live up to the way I said I'm gonna play this party game. Which means, now we take Bloody Jump out of the party. This is one of the very rare situations you're ever going to see somebody not use Shang Fei. So I'm going. I'm fine. I'm dying inside right now doing this too because this so much you wrong. <laughs> that was going to suck so bad using you wrong. Oh my god. But I promised I would. I promised I would, and I stand by my word. Even when it hurts. Actually, when it hurts. Oh, God, this is hard. Hey, I can sell the axes anyway. So, I can recoup some of my money I just lost. It's funny, the axes... You run into them... in Chang'an, where you can buy them. But I, I like the fact that you know, you, when you sell them, you get like, you actually get like 150 gold for them. So. Alright. I need to get a gold win. I'm going to actually put on Zhang Fei because he's not doing anything. Oh. Let's put the steeds on Lee Ru. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the only time in, you're ever going to see somebody put you on their <laughs> This is going to be... This is going to be cheeks.
This is gonna be so cheap. I know it. By the way, I want to show you guys this other thing too, okay? Real quick. So yeah, we have Young Jin, right? Like I say, 125 and 247 soldiers. Is weaker, but he has like 346 soldiers, which makes him a actual good choice to have in this part of the game because you guys can see he's about in line with what you want. That's if you're not using Lubu for some weird reason, like what I'm doing. That's so weird to see Juan on my party. I'm, I am, I think. I think literally I've only ever had Juan in my party once. And I think that was because when I was like trying to recruit as many generals as possible and then I realized you could fill up the building, so I started cutting them after because I wanted to free up space. But I was trying to like recruit generals just to keep them off of the uh, off of the map so I wouldn't keep running into them. Which I realized was a really bad idea. Because it was a phenomenal waste of money. The one thing Shiron does have going for him is the fact he's got 314 soldiers. If anything, he's a meat shield. Really, Zangji? Really? Really? Troll counter up for the number of times the game trolled me. And Zanji's kicking my butt too right now because he keeps getting those hits off. What are we doing for food? Alright, decent. Now, the only thing that's gonna screw me up is if I actually pick up Kayong. If I, act if I actually do run into Kayong, I'm going to have to, like, go in back and get him to replace uh, Lu Feng. Or at the very least... Uh, okay, I'm gonna stay here because the end's cheaper. And then I'm gonna try to just, like, hightail it to Chung An. The other thing I can do is, like, I can hold on to him and then pick him up in Chung An. Because I guess I do have Zhirong in the party, so... I don't necessarily need him for this fight. He's really nice because he helps against Jiu Jiu. Because Jiu Jiu just freaking. There's way too many tactic points for. He has way too much intelligence for his own good. But... Alright, here we go. And Kaiyang actually can't resist his, his attacks. The other thing, too, is Jiu Jiu is the first general that you fight that actually uses water tactics because they're right by the water. And water tactics hurt more than fire tactics, too. And he is a Shui Xing, which is, uh... I have Shui 2 right now, I don't use it at all. But Shui Xing is a lot worse, it does like, it's basically equal with water, and it can do like 200 damage. Which really sucks. But yeah, even if I do beat Chang'an, I have to come back and try to get Kai Yang. I can't, I, I can't pass until I get Kai Yang, because he has to be in my party for the next part. Actually, really good, believe it or not. But it's just gonna be. Like... But here's the here's the one thing. Okay, this guy here is the problem. All right, he can kill you with one water attack. Almost. The nice thing is because he has Shrijian, which is the water shield. My e bold fireballs do full damage, and he can't block them. And, but, I have the gin, but they don't use fire. Dung's well might, but, yeah. I'm not even gonna bother trying with you. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna have you attack, because you're not even smart enough.
Yeah, get rid of the- Woo! Go to Wufang! Damn. They're all Chinese, thing. This is based on check. This is based on uh, a Chinese, uh, a Chinese story and historical documents. Kind of like the same thing as Romance of the Three Kingdoms and uh, Dynasty Warriors are. So it's the same. It's the, it, it comes from the same set of information. But yeah, all these names. Are, oh, 120 now. Yeah, these are all Chinese names. That's why. Yeah, she's sure I'm doing nine damage. Deadly, on you, go for it. Our boy Ho Hu's just gonna keep flinging fireballs in Zhang Jin until he's dead. The game didn't gain a whole lot of traction when it came out in the United States because it was all Chinese characters and people didn't understand it. But after um, some time passed, this became a huge cult favorite because everybody under everybody understood where all the references came from, and it became very popular afterwards. Like it, it became popular like like 10, 15 years after it came out. <laughs> well, Paul Hook gets hit again, he's dead, so... I usually heal himself. Even Paul Hook with 175 intelligence took that at almost full damage. That's what sucks. Listen to G. Give this a try. It probably won't hit, but we'll see. He has a chance to cut through him. Ah, doesn't need to. What's that? Ah, good. Now this is my home base. Now we know water shield. First thing I gotta do is bring the boss here. The only other time you get a free rest. I abuse all the free rests I can get. There's really like there's only like two or three times in the entire in the game that you can actually get a free rest, and that's the second one right there. Oh, right, this right too. I gotta. I forgot. I gotta like. I think that's all I needed to do. Sometimes I screw up and do that out of order. Okay. All right. So this is another sort of like decision time moment in the game, where you have to figure out. Did I walk in there? Where you have to figure out if you want to do something. Oh yeah, this right too. Zach Chow's here. Okay. I'm getting Zhao Chao just for the hell of it, but he's the third pirate in the Young Jin line. Goes goes Young Jin, Wang Dui, and then Zhao Chao. I forgot. I thought Zhao, I thought Zhao Chao came at Nan Yang. I must have been thinking of something else. But uh, yeah. But even still, like like I said, by the time you get him, because he's the third one, and I'll show you guys that too. Okay. So this is uh, Wang Dui. He's like I said, he was a decent one. One ten at three forty six, right? So Zhao Chao is the last one. 140 to 346. He literally doesn't give you anything except for a little bit more strength. But in the way the game works, if for some reason, you know, like, 
you're feeling like you need beef. You just basically throw him in there. He's like he's like a little bit of a mini meat shield. And also, if you didn't take Lubu, you kind of have to use him. Just to give yourself an extra person. He's not horrible, that's the thing. He's not horrible, but he just comes at the wrong part of the game. Because right here, it's like... You know, you get Kai Young, and you've already got Wang Gui, and you probably have Guan Ping by that point, and normally that's enough for people, and you never really use him. But, but he's not horrible, he's just, he's just late. Now, the other thing here, too, is I can upgrade my armor if I want to. Um, there's a real... There's a, this is a this is an this is like a, a moral decision for you as the player here, okay? Buy any more equipment right now. Like you could you, you could buy these caps. They're absolutely great. Um, I think you pick up like two or three free ones in a little bit. I can't remember how many of them you get. The clubs you don't want to buy. You don't want to buy any more weapons. Unless you really feel that weak. Leather, if you're really, really feeling bad, you can get like one or two, but I don't recommend them. The cap is the only thing here that um, is a good upgrade. Um, like I said, I can't remember if you get two or three of them off the top of my head. Like, I always forget how many of them are in that cave. But, um,. Getting these is actually a good idea. They're not that expensive. They do give you a better defense. But, um... I play with Bandana and Rogue here. And then the couple of caps I picked up, I'll put them on people. Because you get a better piece of equipment fairly soon in the game that makes the cap worthless. And, uh... But yeah, it's kind of up to you as a player. Half is probably the only upgrade I would say would be useful for most players at this point. And if you're feeling really, really uncomfortable about, like, your Tiger Generals dying, like uh, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, if you're using both of them, then I will buy two of them just for them. For somebody like, uh, like, Ho Hu, for instance, has got, like, low HP. But I need to hold on to my money right now because I have to go get Kalyan. I don't have a choice now. I have to go get him. <laughs> because he's going to finish my tactician party. Oh, Lord! Why? Oh! That very small section of the map that connects to the next area. Oh my god. I ran into the worst possible character I could run into. Please let me run. Thank you. Uh, all the people I can run into, I ran into G-Wing. <laughs> oh no, no, I can't go into the cave. I have to reset the... There we go. Oh no. Oh, that scared me for a moment. I'm like, oh no, not G-Wing. Alright, Kayong, I need you, please. Don't take too long. Oh, God. Please, Kayong, don't take too long. Like, I was talking about it earlier, and I'm thinking about it now. I might actually have to hire Jiling or Zheng Jun. I was saying I wasn't going to because I'm not allowed to in this room. But thinking about it, I might actually have to. Because I just remembered one important thing. None of my people are going to be over 500 HP at that point, or 500 soldiers to that point. And... Yeah, I... I think I'm going to have to. I don't think there are any hireable... I don't think there are any recruitable tacticians in the Nanyang section that I can get. I think once I get Kai Yang, I'm 
kind of character frozen until I get, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get Jilin. Like, Jen Jin isn't bad, but I prefer not to get him just because his intelligence is that much lower. And with the way the game is with tactics in, that, in the section of the game after this, I really don't want to deal with that extra 10 to so damage I'll take. And yes, it does make a lot of difference. They're both dumb as bricks. So they don't get destroyed by whatever tactic is thrown at the face of the boat. At the very, at the very least, I might, yeah, I will place Blue Fang with Kai Yong. That will make my party a lot weaker too, because your wrong is just garbage for strength. But come on, give me Kai Yong, please. How many? How much food do I have? I don't have a whole lot. I can't afford to buy any more food either, so. If I have to, I might have to go to the next section of the game without him. Come on, game, be nice to me. Please give him to me. Please give me my character that I want. And the RNG just decided to, be to go bottom up on me. I want Fuzzy Yong. Come on, give me Kai Yong. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, game. Please don't make me go crazy. Please don't make me go crazy, game. I'm getting trolled again. Kaiyong's probably not going to show up right away. I'm going to have to probably like walk in and out of Chang'an and Nanyang a few times. Or... Or... Whatever the... Yang, Yang Zhao. I don't know what Yang. Yang Zhao here that I just left. I have to walk back and forth a few times in between them until he triggers. This playthrough is going a lot slower than it should be because of this. I didn't realize it's going to slow me down this much. I said, thank you, Nan Yang. I, I said, I, literally, I get Ji Ling or Zhang Jun, and I'll just roll with whichever one I find. But I'm going to need one of them. For sure. I mean, te technically, I don't. I mean, I, you, you do get Xiao King. You do get, was it Zhu, Zhu Kang? Yeah, you know, something like that. You do get him, which he's got 506 soldiers, so I mean, he's actually worth... He would actually be good enough. And he's strong, too. I mean, he's a warrior, so... Now I'm getting stuck in a retreat loop again. This hurts. This hurts my brains. But yes, guys, this is the way I normally play the game anyway, so I retreat from all my battles that I don't want to fight. So, I'm used to doing this, but the game is just hard trolling me right now. I usually don't have that many battles where I get stuck on a retreat. Jeez, why? Where's Kayong at? How am I doing on my food? I really need him. I actually, I actually le legitimately need Kaiyong. I'm not saying that just because, guys. I legitimately need him. Oh, the game always wants you to fight. It has a ridiculous encounter rate. In fact, after a certain point of the game, I fight everything. Just because it doesn't matter. See, that's the thing with this game. Like, the early levels, you don't want to level too fast because you want to get your tactic points as many of them as you can, and you need certain people to be able to learn the tactics you need. So if you level too fast, you miss a good 15 to 20 tactic points, which really hurts you at the end of the game. Because your tactic points, you see that MTP that's the maximum? You're always one shy of that, even with the best character in the game, for tactics. So, 
and, I, and missing 10 to 15 to 20 points of maximum at the end of the game can kill you. It can outright kill you. Like, you will not be able to beat the end of the game if you're too low on tackle points. Not without an extreme amount of luck or not without using a freaking um, tool assisted speedrun to, to uh, check certain counters in the game. Like even even Tass even even Tass runs to this game like take 15, 20,000 play like resets to get the numbers right. Cause there's particular RNG for a lot of different things in this game. One of the most important ones being uh, a decapitation counter. There's just a technical end shot in the game which will decapitate you. The Tasses will um, predict ways for you to dodge it. If the AI pulls it, predicts uh, uh, certain usages of other attacks, like the endgame boss has a heal wall ability, and there's a way to get around his heal wall ability if you use a task for that, and certain other things, so. Um, it takes like dozens, if not hundreds, of playthroughs to get exactly right, like, there's particular ways to move, like, out in the field here, like, there's like, you stand still for a moment in the field sometimes, and then you run, and then you, like, do a certain number of clicks on your window and stuff like that. Like, you open up the menu and do a certain number of clicks and cancel it out and stuff like that. Like, getting the retreat to work every time, there's a way to do that. Like, I'm not that in-depth with the game. Like, I won't ever play it on that. Like, I, I won't ever get into playing with, like, pool assists. But I've seen people do it, and it's completely amazing and ludicrous at the same time, because like I said, you have to reset the game like 18, 20,000 times. Yo, Gecko, what's up? How's it going, bro? So yeah, right now, I just want one bloody character. And I'm getting stuck in the fucking retreat loop again. The fight of Kai Young is like absolutely essential, because I need the, uh, I need the tactical power that he has. The 180 intelligence character, I actually need another one character of that caliber. Hey, so I have, uh, I have Pohu's at 175, and he's good, but having Kai Young there on top of it would just make it that much easier for me to throw fireballs, and my top two physical characters I'm gonna have, which would be Guan Ping and Guan Yu, um, will be able to use the clubs. Oh, crap, he had to be released soon. Alright, I'm okay with this. I don't have freaking uh, uh, Wu Jian anymore, so I'm gonna take full damage from fire. So this is going to suck. This is going to suck, guys! Let's do it. Alright. Fireballs! At least Lee Sue will go down like two or three fireballs. Whew! Why that miss? And like I said, I got two clubs, so I'll do a lot more damage. Woo hoo Damn, ho hoo ho hoo sniffing the good powder over there, damn! Do that again. Look, I gotta kill Guan Yu too. Oh, you missed. Yeah, see, this is where Ju Long comes in handy because I can use him to heal. He loves his, his intelligence. But at least he can heal. Come on. Come on. Smack. Alright. Please ask for a horse. Be nice to me, please ask for a horse, Kayon. Lee Sue, what should we do? Release him. Recruit, please. A freebie! Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I got him for free! I got him for free. Yo! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Oh. 
Oh, hell no. <laughs> Get out of my face. I wish I could hire him. Jeez, you would be so broken. And then I wouldn't have to worry about things. Oh, no, that was great, team. My young can cost over a thousand gold if he asks for gold. I'm glad he freaking came. I was like, I was like praying he would ask for the horse. Because the horse is only 200. But... Here comes number three. Who's number one and number two? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> hey man, who's, who's number one and number two then? Number three on the leaderboard, the rations board. One of these days when I do a run like this, I'm actually gonna have my chat on the side here. So when I post on YouTube, like, people on YouTube will know who I'm talking to, but... Right now, I just like it the way it is. Besides, it's mostly my body anyway. Fuck him. Let's change number two! <laughs> when you guys type in, I, I, what is it, top? And take a look at it, tell me who number one is? I'm curious. Man, I'm running into everything right now. There you go, top points. Alright, cool. Alright, so I gotta get Lu Fang. Now the nice thing is here, there's a... A not- oh. Okay, so Anonymous doesn't count. I know who Anonymous is. Anonymous doesn't count. So Chain's really number one. Anonymous is, is my friend from the military that comes in here sometimes and gives subs. He does it anonymously on purpose. Because he doesn't want his name showing up. Alright, so there's another fun thing about this game. Okay, if you have a full party of seven like I do, or even if you don't... So, okay, so you look at Lu Feng's equipment here, right? Now, if I put Lu Feng in here, with this equipment, right, and then I immediately go back in here and pull a person out, so I take Kai Young. Kai Young will already be equipped with all Lu Feng's gear. That's one thing I liked about this game, is that it would auto-switch your equipment when you did that. This is why I run a Kai Young, guys. He's intelligent, he's actually relatively strong. Um, except if I wasn't doing a tactician run, the only difference in my party is instead of Zhu Rong, I'd have Lu Feng. But because I'm playing a tactician run, there's my party. I got three, I got two really, really weak hitters, one decent hitter and two strong hitters. And four of these five people, well, three of these five people can throw a, a tactic really well, so. Jirong is just there because he, he qualifies as a tactician. Even though he's not really good. Um, also, I think I can buy the next level of elixir here. Right? Oh yeah, I can buy the elixir. This right here. Not not the elixir, but that right there, power pill. Nope, broken item in the game. <laughs> it's like, it's, a, it's an instant critical hit with your physicals. Um, only two characters are going to use it, though. The characters with the clubs. So we're gonna load up uh, Guan Yu. These are silly broken in one respect because you can just buy them for so cheap, but they do get really hard to keep stocking because they only use one time. But there's a lot of mods for this game uh, that came out where people readjusted the cost of these to like 100 or even 200 each because they were just so easy. Um, I tried to edit the game. Unfortunately, when I use Destiny with an editor, it doesn't work on Windows 10. And, uh, 
the people who created it have no plans on updating it anymore that I know of. So I'd have to go back to Windows 7 because unfortunately I don't have a copy of Windows 7 anymore. Alright. I have the elixir on everybody. Cool. I, I have elixir on everybody. Um the junk face still got my going for emergencies, so I've got two steeds. Now I'm gonna buy the other great item, which actually does cost a lot, but the smoke pot. And yes, guys, those jokes even back then in 1989 about this weapon. About this item. You know, people talk about smoke pot like, you know, that, that, that kind of pot. It was always a joke. But basically what smoke pot does is, um, prevents you from having random encounters. For 200 gold, it's expensive as F, but, um, there is a good use for it. There's a very good use for it. 